Hi guys, and today I'm doing a haul video, mostly with the things that I picked up from Zara because I've been obsessed with Zara at the minute. Both the summery stuff and the autumn stuff are amazing. I first went to Zara before my holiday in Budapest and Vienna and I picked up quite a lot of things back then, but then I also went to Zara yesterday and I also picked up some things which I can't wait to share with you guys because I'm obsessed with them. And I also have some new look things because new look really fits my style at the moment. So yeah, if you want to see my haul, then keep on watching. I'm going to start with the things from Zara that I picked up before my holiday in Budapest and Vienna. And they come in this bag. It's a massive Zara bag. I kind of wish they would give you two small bags as opposed to this big one, but whenever I do shopping in Zara, they always give me this massive bag. And first thing that I got is not actually a clothing item, but it's a bag. It looks like this and I'm absolutely obsessed. I know I will get so much wear out of this because this is my perfect size bag. And whenever I go out shopping, whenever I go out anywhere, I just bring bags like this so I can't overpack them and then make them really heavy. It has an adjustable strap, which is quite wide and quite sturdy, so it won't break easily. And you can make it shorter or longer, depending on your preference. I love how it's kind of a rectangular shape and also because it has faux leather this can wash quite easily so it has a smaller compartment here then two zip compartments I don't know if you can see but here is one and here is another and then the middle part which you can't zip but you can still put quite a lot of things in there because it's really roomy this goes pretty much with anything because it's white so it's quite neutral i don't find it hard to style at all and lots of my shoes are also white because white shoes are my favorite so white bag and white shoes i think would work really nicely so i'm obsessed with this and this was 19.95 euros because obviously I'm not in the UK at the moment, so I don't pay in pounds, I pay in euros. So this was 19.95 euros. And then I also got two pairs of jeans that I really loved when I tried them on. And I couldn't really decide between the two, so I decided to pick up both. First pair looks like this. So it's kind of this bluey denim, but a little bit darker. And they are very long as well. They are the jegging style high-waisted. I would still recommend these for petite people, even though they are really, really tall. Just because on this little illustration here, they show them rolled up. So if you like your jeans to be rolled up, these look really pretty rolled up. I tried them both ways. I tried them rolled up, which they look really nice. And I also tried them full length when they kind of rolled at me at the bottom, but I really like that for some reason. But yeah, they're just really nice. They have pockets at the back and they don't have actually pockets at the front. These are fake. They're kind of a jegging style, which means they're very comfortable. But one thing though, I would recommend you guys to size down on these. Size eight on this was massive on me. Like it was so big, it was not flattering whatsoever because they looked baggy. And with jeans like this, at least for me, I think they should be quite skinny and really fitted. And size six, so European 34, fitted really well on me. And these cost 19.95 euros, so 20 euros. So this is my first pair. And the second pair is very similar, very similar style. That's why I was debating getting both of them. But then I was like, I love them both. I know I'm going to get so much wear out of them in the autumn and winter time, then why not? And that's how they look. So these are gray, black, kind of distressed. That again, jeggings, high waist, as you can see, you probably can't read that, but that's what it says, jeggings, high waist. They were again, 19.95, again, size 34, which is UK 6. And yeah, I also have one summary thing that I actually won in Budapest already, and I got so many compliments on it, and it is this skirt. I think it's beautiful. Like, I wasn't convinced on the mustard color of this, but it actually looks amazing on. The fit of it is really pretty. It's a flowy skirt with some with some flowers on it that are kind of yellowy and rosy. They all go really nicely together. And some people can be very skeptical about the color of this 
Some people may not like mustard, but I would highly recommend you guys, if you see this hair, just try it on because it honestly looks flawless. This you should be able to see styled in my lookbook, the Budapest and Vienna lookbook, if you want to see how this looks on. Next thing that I got I'm obsessed with, I think it will be perfect for the autumn and winter time, and this is a pair of, they are not leggings, but they are very tight trousers. This fits perfectly because First of all, obviously it zips up normally here, but then by the leg area at the bottom, it has a zip, I don't know if you can see. You unzip this part when you want to put your leg through and then you zip it, so then they become really tight and they really look flattering on. They make your leg look really nice, really skinny. They are very comfortable. They are really quite thick as well. I think they will be perfect for winter time in England because they are really, really thick and a lot warmer than regular leggings or something or even regular jeans. These are a lot warmer. They are slim fit, regular waist but for me they're quite high waisted i don't know if you can see and actually for these ones i'm in the size small i tried extra small and i couldn't there was no way i would fit in them i am in the size small and they were 25.95 euros and then yesterday on my second trip to zara i picked up some more goodies again in this massive bag like this is so annoying you guys because then i have to walk around with this bag and it doesn't look pretty either like zara come on why would you use a bag that's color of a bean bag like why so first thing that i picked up yesterday in zara are these shorts and these look actually really flattering on i wasn't convinced about them before i tried them on i was thinking they would probably not look nice on me i can't really pull off the material because again they are full leather material in this nice creamy color and they are really quite thick, so at the moment in this hot climate, like it is right now on my holiday, I would never be able to wear these because they are very, very thick and they also lined with fleece. So these, I feel like, would be perfect for winter time with some pair of tights, like cozy tights from Primark that are very thick and these on top would be absolutely perfect for winter time. They have fleece inside, they have really thick faux leather at the front they look like this from the front with a nice detail as you can see probably hope you can see that i don't have a tag on this so i don't know how much they cost and the reason why i don't have tag they had only one pair in extra small and extra small again in this is what fits me zara is quite weird with their sizing right because i never know what size i am sometimes i'm small sometimes i'm extra small sometimes i'm uk6 sometimes i'm uk8 for bottoms so i never know what I am but for this I'm definitely an extra small next up I have a skirt which looks like this it's a white skirt with a very nice floral pattern which again is white so it's really hard to see and I don't know if you'll be able to see this but this looks really quite expensive the material it's really nice and thick again but this would be perfect for summer and for winter and something that can be worn formally or casually because of the color and the pattern and everything it's again high-waisted so it may look quite long but it's not long whatsoever this was actually cheaper than other things that I got from Zara and it was 14.95 euros another thing that i got from zara is actually a similar pair of trousers to the black ones that i got because they are again very thick material perfect for the winter time but these are gray and they are also from different collection because they don't have a zip at the front but they have a zip at the side the pockets look differently as well all of these are fake pockets so we have fake little pockets at the front and the similar ones at the back they are called slim fit medium waist but for me again i feel like these are quite high waisted they have the zips at the leg area so you can unzip it to put your leg through and then once you have them on you can zip it and make them really tight and very leggings like although unlike leggings these are a lot steady a lot thicker these are more like trousers they were 25.95 euros so same as the black ones and last but not least from zara i also have another autumn slash winter thing and this dish jumper this is from zara knit 
and it looks really nicely on. You may think, oh, it's just a standard navy jumper, but it actually isn't. It looks so much better on. And at the very bottom, it has like a blouse coming through it, so it gives you the effect like you are wearing blouse. It's like kind of attached. There is no blouse to it, as you can see, it kind of finishes there. But it makes this jumper look so unusual. This is in the size medium, however, because medium was the only one that they had. They had so many of them, but they were all, all in the size medium. Okay, now on to new look. I actually have two bags of new look goodies. One is this massive one. And then I also have this one the smaller one so i'm going to start with the massive one because in the smaller one i only have a pair of shoes that i'm going to show you in a minute but firstly one of my favorite things from this entire haul is from new look actually and i love it i just i'm so gutted it's not in my size but i can make it work it still looks really pretty even though it's not my size and there's this sort of blazer slash cardigan it looks very smart on i can't even show this to you guys because i don't know how to it has this nice off-white creamy color it has rolled up sleeves that look like this so they are kind of three quarter sleeves and then they are rolled up they have nice pockets this looks really smart but really really pretty this doesn't look like new look this looks like zara or topshop honestly the quality, the material, the thickness, the feel, the texture of the material. So I personally paid 29.99 euros, but that would be, but in England this costs 24.99 pounds, so 25 pounds or 30 euros. Another thing that I got from New Look is a jacket, which again, I won't be able to show it to you properly, but you just have to trust me on this, you guys. It's really, really gorgeous. And it looks like this. I wasn't firstly convinced about the color. It's kind of a taupey color, which I thought I'm not the biggest fan of. I prefer something more beigey as opposed to taupe. But I tried it on and this just fits so perfectly on you. It's the shape of this. This is more like a blazer as opposed to a regular leather jacket because it has puffy sleeves, like the sleeves kind of puff up, which I really love about this and blazers in general because blazers have a tendency to have puffy sleeves. This doesn't button up or it doesn't zip up. So this is indeed like a more of a blazer style leather jacket. It's full leather, obviously it's not real leather. The sleeves are half leather and half of this cotton material that's stretchy, so you can see that. So it is very comfortable. The leather on this is super soft. I kind of feel like this would be a very good layer piece. So not only I can wear this in autumn, but I could also wear it in winter underneath a coat. This was more expensive than anything else from this haul because it was 44.99 euros, which would be 34.99 pounds. So I paid 45 euros for this, but I just feel like this is a staple. Next, I also got a kimono, which I loved the pattern of, and it was quite affordable as well, so I thought I would pick it up, and it looks like this. That's the back of it, and it has really pretty roses on, so kind of a rose gold, burgundy, pinky, brownie roses, really, really nice. And that's how it looks on the front, so the sleeves of it are kind of joined in with the rest of it outfit it's quite thin very nice for the summer although it's black so at the moment it's not ideal to wear but i think i'll get some wear out of this in september because it will be still warm but not as hot so i won't mind wearing something black this is size 14 and this was the smallest one that they had they only had 14 16 and 18. however with kimonos i think they look quite nice when they're oversized so i don't mind that this is size 14 it just looks nice and oversized on me i tried it on and i really liked it and this was only 14.99 euros 12.99 pounds lastly for a new look i have one more thing that comes in a separate bag and it's a pair of shoes and that's how they look so they are cutout boots in this black matte black color 
and I really like them. I mean, they're not maybe the prettiest pair of shoes that I own. However, they're very practical and they go with lots of things because they're black. I mean, they wouldn't go with skirts or play suits or dresses, but they definitely go with like leggings or trousers, jeans, anything like that. And they are very sturdy. One of the main reasons why I wanted to have them is because they're so sturdy. They're kind of heavy, not to the point that they're uncomfortable to wear, but they're definitely more on the heavier side. They don't have a massive heel. I usually don't like how the cutout boot have a massive chunky heel. I wanted something more flat and this is kind of flat, so I really like that about them. They have a lot of cutouts, but the level on this is really thick, so I feel like it won't break easily. In order to not make this video too long, I'm just going to show you one more place and that is Pool and Bear. The bag looks like this. I mean, this shop is in the UK, but not in that many places. I know in bigger cities, you can find Pull and Bear, but I only picked up two things and they're both play suits. First one I've already worn, but it looks like this. I couldn't resist wearing this. After I got it, I went by the lake and I had to take this with me because this is so gorgeous on. Like, I love the colors, I love how nicely it lays on you. It's very bright, eye-catching, screams summer to me. It has nice floral detail. The color is very bright, but not neon, so it's not something that will be too much out there, but it's definitely eye-catching. I just love it. I love the back, the cross strap on this. And the second play suit is a bit different. It's quite a bit thicker, which I thought would be good to go like clubbing in, even in the winter time, if I put tights and something on top. And it looks like this. So the, part, the first part is again floral, but it is black. And it's very flowy, and then it has black shorts at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, but these are nice black shorts. Then you have like this first layer, which is black, which is just plain black. And then on top of that, you have a floral top. Again, it's kind of a cross. Both of these play suits were 22.99 euro. So yeah, guys, that is the end. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please like this video and subscribe to me if you're not already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.